specifically agree with that fact because he has replied the answer himself by saying that Bodo and Karbi were sent and only Bodo was uh, selected. So the process of how the selection is done is uh, something that only at MHA level they will be able to tell. But the official communication to us, sir, I'm sticking purely with official. I'm not talking about politics or different kind of uh, other uh, areas and different uh, steps that Government of India takes for whatever different reasons, keeping different factors in mind. I'm purely talking on official communication that as of now, Government of India has stressed that there is no specific criteria for consideration of any particular language and hence sending two languages or three languages from a site should not be a reason for a particular language not being accepted. Thank you, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, for the answer reply from the Honorable Chief Minister. See why I'm asking that because the Khasi language uh, already there in the list of demands for inclusion of uh, so many languages, 38 languages. Khasi language also is there. That's why I'm asking because the Khasi language already in Gwairi since the year 2010. That's why I'm asking if there's a problem or not sending two languages. So thank you so much for the reply from the Chief Minister. But the thing is that, that I want to request the government, see this is a long pending issue. We all are aware and I'm happy that the government sent both Garo and Kasi. But if there is a problem that the government sent two languages, so we have to review on that. But if there is no problem on that, so from my side, I request the government that uh, let us continue to follow up this matter. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, as mentioned, sir, that uh, we have uh, obviously put in the request for both Garo and Asi language. Uh, there was a small confusion at one point in time. Uh, whether the Garo language was in the list of demands or not. Uh, the Honourable Member of Parliament had a delegation uh, to the Home Ministry and they had clarified that uh, it was, uh, uh, it was uh, actually missed out by the MHA and necessary corrections would be made for the Garo language. So that assurance was given to the Honourable Member of Parliament and the delegation. Uh, number two, sir, the fact that, uh, as mentioned, uh, that we have seen in the past and mentioned by the Honourable MLA himself, that uh, even though two languages were sent by Assam uh, earlier, which is Bodo language and Karmi <laughs> language, the government of India at that point in time uh, took up only Bodo language. So therefore, uh, obviously the state government will propose uh, the different demands that are there by the people. And at the end of the day, based on whatever, as I said, criteria may not be the official criteria, Maybe other criteria may be there. As I said, there are so many other political issues. Uh, there are you know, so many other issues which I don't want to get into right now. Uh, whatever the decision, Government of India decided at that point, even though two proposals were given, Government of India only approved Bodo language at that point in time. 